Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X, and today I'm super happy to continue on this Rooster Teeth Ruby journey. I believe we are in episode 11, and I am, you know, hyped to keep going on it. We're definitely going to finish this season in this batch, or the next batch. And so once we do, we'll switch on to season seven. And after that, we're caught up. We'll have Ruby Chibi season three. And that'll be the last thing that we have to watch for Ruby. As far as pure Ruby content, we may go out and check out some reactions to the soundtracks because we really enjoy the music and stuff. Although it feels to me like a lot of people like the soundtracks for a lyric breakdown, but I am not one who finds them to be all that impressive lyrically. So, uh, you know, we may or may not do it depending on how the future season's music is. I'm much more impressed by Ruby's musicality. Like, the, the scoring composition is standing in this series. Uh, with that said, support the original content creator, Rooster Teeth and Ruby, at the links listed in the description below. Check out Be a First Member, go to their YouTube channel, and like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed watching with us, do the same. Like, hit the like button, comment with a critique or a compliment. Subscribe to see more of our upcoming content, which is several videos a day, including reactions, music, video games, and even comic stuff. Uh, and you can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash 3D where you can get early access to all that by a week and join our other patrons, which, by the way, you guys are the best. We're still thinking of patron names and group names, but for now, you are our patrons and you are the awesomest possumist. So let's get into it without further ado. I don't want to waste too much more of your guys' time. Roost the teeth. Skipping the intro! I do like a lot of this intro was that train fight, which was like the first episode, so it really wasn't spoilery because there's no context on it. And once again, I think that's really where those spoilers come in, right? So like this was that was the scene that spoiled me. And everyone's guilty of it. The new One Piece intro came out a while back. I think it's intro 23. Super spoilery. So many spoilers. Come on. Her voice acting is really good. And her character design is good in the way that it makes me not like her. I dislike her character design, so it's easier for me to actually dislike her. She shot it, I'm guessing. With the sliper. A reverse? Oh, a wall. She was trying to freeze them. So she's not trying to kill them, I don't believe. Necessarily. Especially because Weiss is there and she'd probably get in big trouble for it, even if she violated the law. We need to figure out how to stop Cordovan and protect the airship until we do. Then let's give her more targets to focus on. You mean us, don't you? Look at that thing. It's not designed for small enemies. It's probably meant for giant grim that come in from deeper waters. We can turn our size into an advantage. We just have to be smart. Which is why when he says he's a bad leader and a bad strategist, I don't necessarily agree. I think he said that the other time, like, sometimes. And they took my driver's license. <laughs> I love her. She's so great. She reminds me of my... my Uh-oh. She's gonna be like a shield. One, two. Ruby and Crow. Ah, oh, it actually damaged the grass. I'm a little less impressed with that robot now. That's impressive, though. Okay, that's what she meant. I like their jumping movement. It's way better than stuff like Naruto. 
Good runnings. You're just saying that because you want to see Ren in a Speedo, Nora. Oh, energy shields. A little more impressive. Interesting. Rock. Run, girls! That was really animated. Do you see how the water is animated right there? That is so anime style. Oh, she's using her summon. Nice. Once again, these shielding on this robot. I. Mm, how would it fare against a strong Grim if these. I guess maybe I'm not ranking Ruby's weapon high enough, right? Maybe it's just so strong it does damage to this, or the, the robot doesn't have the best thing. But wouldn't the point of having a giant robot be to make it out of tough materials? Otherwise, it's just going to break against smaller, softer things. Right? Like... <laughs> oh. See, now there, right, making it punch itself would have been a really good, like... Uh-huh. Interesting animation there. Get him, Ren! Battery. To be fair, this is actually pretty calm. The only other place you would put it, if you didn't put it on the back, would be in the very center of the machine. <laughs> you tell him, Nora. The other thing being is how important is the shield generator as opposed to like a power generator? Because they still seem to be doing some damage to it. Oh, he just powered her aura up so that she didn't get fucked. See, that one probably might have killed her. Maybe she is trying to kill him. There you go, Ruby. Good save. Get him, Oscar. Do something. Uh-oh. She's gonna crash right into it, isn't she? Nope, she's got guns. She doesn't need to charge. She just distract her? See, that would make sense because she has an irrational, you know, hatred for her. So I wouldn't be surprised by that one. Oh, sh End of the episode? Nope. Ah, back to this fight. 
See, now I'm interested to see how this goes. Is he going easy on her? Is she able to trade 20 hits with him? Is that her level of power? For those who don't know, that's a term in martial arts, trading blows or taking blows. Uh, number of moves. It's, it's seen in a couple different ones. I've seen it more in Korean stuff. Okay, if she's running, much more, much more sensical. Oh, she sheathed his sword. That was some mad skills. But in order to do that to someone... Oh, she does have a, a visceral... There it is. Oof, right in the face. Come on, Yang! Get your revenge! Get your revenge, Yang. That's what I'm waiting for. Cheap shot him. Sneaker him. He deserves it. Ooh, broke the sword and everything. Oh, his eyes. We finally get to see him, huh? Maybe that's why he's unhappy with her. Tell it to the old lady who got both her eyes cut out and was actually a good person. Uh, cry baby Adam, I'm so hurt. They took out my eye and branded my face. Yeah, I figured she'd vibe out of that. I'm not alone. Yeah! Kick his ass, Yang! Mm, motorcycle attack. Although, I want to say once again, what is the difference between these two from however long ago, to make up for the gap in power that was clearly prevalent. Now, a 2v1, a whole different story. It's okay. Catch your breath for a second. I can hold him off. She's right, Blake. It's okay. We have unfinished business. Fuck him up. Although, I guess I'm having my expectations too high. Although, if she were to suddenly be strong enough to beat him now, with... I don't know. I guess. People are going to be like, ah, oh, they've been training and, and journeying together for, what, a year? That's some pretty good training to beat somebody who basically one-shot you in a year. Or at least even be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe them in a year would be an impressive feat. So she just won't hit the sword then. Yep. That's better. Knowing that she's not necessarily a match. Did her arm actually block it? Is that what happened? Her tough arm? He does look pretty cool with this thing, but he man is he a big ass crybaby. I got I got a, a fucking cousin who's crippled from the waist down. You think she's out there talking shit? Control your anger. She's not protecting me, Adam. We're protecting each other. Ah. Yeah! Yeah! 
See, 2v1, totally understandable. Much more... Re Once again, to go from, uh... A character who would basically one-shot you... And there goes the camera as well, so I'm glad I finished that in time. Is this fucking camera is acting like awful ass, so sorry if I seem irritable. But yeah, boo-hoo is me, Adam. Oh, man, I'm sorry that you were abused and... Now you think that that entitles you to hurt other people. It's like everybody has problems, man. But, I mean, his character's good. I just, you know, boo-hoo is me, Adam. Uh, as always, super special thanks to Rooster Teeth and Ruby. They sometimes let these through the dispute thing, and that's good enough for me. Uh, as always, support them and give them some love, because they definitely deserve it. I love the stuff they make. Never confuse that, for sure. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Reactions with the Next. Since the camera's dead, and I want to keep talking while it's off. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching another episode of Reactions with the Next with me, your host, Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.